Bradford Castro is here, our director of engineering, protecting our security <laughs> on our shores and off. And you now we gave you an all-in-one to do a big all-in-one yeah. to do a little while ago. Yes, this is kind of a little baby. Yes, all-in-one. What is this? So this one is the little baby. We had the older sister, older yeah. brother. That was a yeah. twenty-seven-inch Asus AIO. This is the twenty-three-inch, twenty-three-fifty. Inspiring from Dell. Now, Dell does make 27s, but the Inspiron line is kind of their yes. budget line, right? Yes. Yeah. They also have a 27-inch also, but this is yeah. the 23-inch line. Okay. And it's touch-based. This might be good for a student or in yeah. the kitchen or somewhere yeah. like that. And this yeah. actually is, uh, this is the top of the line one. This is running an i7. Oh, it's it has, fast. Yeah, so it's really fast. It even has an AMD Radeon chip in it, so... And it's that's the speedy. GPU. Yes. And so, because it's a touch screen, GPU is important, isn't it? You want to yeah, be able to. You don't want it lag when you touch yes. the screen. There's no lag on it. So yeah. I mean, much of what we've seen before in the past with AIOs. I'm just going to get right into it. Um, what you want to know is probably the resolution, and from here it on out, it doesn't look great. I'm saying, yeah. is it a good resolution? This is actually 1920 by 1080. Oh, so that's pretty your, good. Yeah, so it's full HD. That's just blurry pictures. You yeah. got to get better pictures. We're then. just used <laughs> to the laptops now that are in, super you know, crisp. Retina, yeah, right. right. And Same so, resolution at a half the size. Right, right. So this is 23 inches. Right. So All I'm right. just going to demo a little bit just on the resolution okay. alone. I'm going to play a trailer here. It's, it's Let's Elysium. watch the Elysium trailer. Elysium. Good movie. Yeah. So it's a little bit blurry. Obviously, it's going to try yeah. to bring in the bits, but. Um, let me turn up the volume, probably, so you could actually get a demo what this sounds like just as well as what it looks like. It looks like these are speakers. Are these speakers? At, yes. Where are the speakers? At the bottom? Yeah, right in the, the bottom. Stand. This is one of the negatives I didn't like about. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're trying to push out all of this stuff out of these little speakers right here. Right. And all the components are here. So So the whole computer, is it just in this little flat stand part? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Interesting. And then the arm here, you know, it's, it's pretty sturdy for what it is, but it's kind of hefty even for this type of form factor. But let me just pause this for a little bit. And but so over here on the bottom part on the on the base, you actually have a couple of USBs. Let me actually take it, make it easier for us. I have some pictures here where I took a picture. Okay. <laughs> I took some side stuff. So here's what it looks there like we on go. the side. And this is what it looks like. That's my side. That's what your side <laughs> looks yeah, like. Yeah. There you go. All this right. Is the back. So I see uh, it looks like two HDMI ports. Right. So you have actually an in and out. Yes. Yeah. So this is a pass through device? No. So it's almost confusing because of the way they're positioned. Yeah. What? But this is actually HDMI in if you want to extend your monitors from another PC. HDMI out if you want to push towards the TV. Got it. So this could be a monitor by itself yes. or a second monitor for yes. a computer. Or if you want to push out to a display stuff. That's yes. cool. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of confusing because when you see them side by side. You know what? It looks like they're aiming this at the student market where this would be a home entertainment mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. in, a, in a dorm room, yes. for instance. Yes. Right? And it has enough power to do that. So you right. could actually, you know, do some gaming and do, you know, your normal and your work. And your schoolwork and all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but the big thing you want to know is, you know, how does it perform in real world stuff? So, of course, as I usually do, I like playing around with games. This is just some resolution. So here's some pictures. These are good looking pictures. Yeah. Now, you didn't take them with this, though. No, these you didn't are carry actually, this around to the cafe. No, I actually no. had an SLR. I was using. Okay. Yeah, I was actually using a. a I, Canon. Look, I think this yeah, looks pretty good, good, actually. That, yeah. That's a very nice screen. Mm -hmm. So this was. All awesome. right. Yeah. So it's it's a pretty nice screen. I mean, it has some really good resolution and even the speed from when you're zooming and stuff. It's pretty nice too. If I get it to do that, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Having built-in dedicated GPU makes a big difference. It makes a huge respect. difference. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, another evidence of that is when you start looking at games and stuff. So let's see if I have it there. Um, there it is. And this is already running in the background, so that's really good. Yeah. And I'll just resume from this point out, and you can just see, just from the way it intros into the launch yeah. of the it was race. Instant. It's instant. Is it a solid state drive in here? No, it's actually a regular hard drive. A laptop something. hard drive, yeah. it must be, yeah. But it has. This is pretty darn loud. Let me see if I can pause this thing. Sorry about uh, that. I would say, even though it has these built-in speakers, you're probably going to want to add external speakers, yeah. as you would to many of it. Right. In a computer. And it has a, it has a, you know, it has a headphone jack for that, so you okay. can put in that stuff. But I mean, just the speed alone is, it's pretty. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, it's clean. So you could give this to a kid and say, hey, you can game on this, but I want you to do your homework on yes. it. Uh, this could also you could even this could even be your TV mm -hmm. really I mean yeah. because you've got HDMI in you could hook up an Xbox to it and make yeah. it your Xbox TV yes, yes there's a lot you could do with this yes that's interesting so remember when we did the review the other time it was uh, you had some tilt forms and you right. so one of the big selling points I liked about this is the fact that you could lay it flat wow like that all the way flat now we could play air hockey yeah. <laughs> But well, here's an app I really wanted to demonstrate that really makes use of this kind of like okay. positioning. And that is this Creon one, which is perfect for my kid and I. 
Uh, since we play around with pictures and things like that, and we want to move around. This is turning it into a surface, in effect. Yeah. So you can, here's some photos that I messed around with yeah. where I just placed my kid, kid around here. And, <laughs> and then you could even, like, you know, start using different types of tools to just start writing and start, you know, doodling. If I freaking know how to do this, this right? Is a very, I like how flexible this is. Yeah. And I'm waiting to hear the price because, uh, especially as configured, this is gonna. This is not a cheap. Right. Computer. So this, the price that this uh, trim is with 13, i7 and with the GPU. With i7 and the GPU, and one terabyte, which I think they all come with. Terabyte of uh, how terabyte much? Of, how much RAM? Uh, terabyte about storage. 12. twelve gigs. Oh, 12 gigabytes. Yeah. Of RAM. Yes. And how much? At thirteen. Well, that's thirteen ninety nine. That's very good. Yeah. And I presume that you get an i5 with less yes. RAM, yes. smaller hardware. So they go, the, uh, the trims go like this. It goes i3, i5, and then this. Right. And then... This would be a really good desktop for a student. Uh, in high school, you could put it in the bedroom. In college, you could put it in the dorm room. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. $13.99 is a very good price. Remember, this Burr. has an i7 and a dedicated a, 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 uh, ATI graphics processor. Mm -hmm. that, is a, that is a pretty impressive thing. I like the stand. You're right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get the pros and cons here. So the pros, I'm going to get right to because I just can't remember stuff. <laughs> yeah, write it down. Um, That's always my... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Always so I the pros is the fact that it is... Uh, actually, I didn't write it down, so I'm just going to try to remember the pros. This. You like? I can tell you. You this, like the screen. I like the you screen. You like the stand. It's fast. Yes. Now, and the, the, the cons is the, the sound is Crappy not there. Crappy speakers. Right. Yeah. Um, and the, here's another weird thing. <laughs> this is the weird thing. F ha try to powering out the mouse. Look at this. You actually have to open it up. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. But, yeah, it's All a little right. weird thing. Okay. But other than that, it's but actually it comes a very... With Dell keyboard. This is a Dell keyboard and mouse. Right. It's, you know, it's a no-frills yeah. keyboard and yeah. mouse, but it works well. And, oh, thanks. It you... is a good performer. We... I, I got it right. Dog. Clean design, good Clean performer. Design. Beautiful display, nice positions. Nice positions. Crappy speakers, loud and fan. You loud didn't fan. mention that. Yeah. yeah. So it is pretty loud once you start doing you can hear like it? games. See, I don't hear anything right now. Yeah, but when you actually run it or when you're doing yeah. like high-resolution video, you definitely are going to hear it. So. Yeah. And, of course, it's not a laptop. It's a desktop, so you yes. got to plug it in. Yes. But that is, I think, for the price, the Dell Inspiron. What model is this? This is the 2530. 2530. 2350. 2350. This is an all-in-one. Yes. Buy? Try? Don't buy? I wish I could say tempting, but I have to give it a try. I'm going to say buy it. I think that's yeah. a great price. And I don't know of anything in this yeah. category that yeah, really... Yeah, it is. It's, it's very... How are we feeling? We buy a lot of Dell gear, and you kind of uh, on right. the front line of, res of supporting all that stuff. How are we mm -hmm. feeling about Dell these days? Dell's actually pretty good now. Ever since they went private, yeah. they're starting to really concentrate on putting out products that really matter. Okay. And looking at this, just the form factor alone is very tempting to have. I'm just saying try now because I don't have the pocket money off of my back. Yeah, if you it. have 1300 bucks, <laughs> try, you have 13 buy it. Around, it's right, definitely a buy. Right. It is, so. it is not cheap, but yeah. yeah. Very impressive. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Radford Castro. He's our engineering director at Twit. And uh, boy, I have to say, you know, I really like the Dell XPS 1 when we mm -hmm. reviewed it a, a, a year ago. I reviewed it. Mm -hmm. Now that Windows 8 we come, came out, I think they've got a touch version of that. And this, this is a touch screen. Yes. And at $13.99, I think it's a, it comes with Windows 8 1 yes. Pro. It comes with 8, but of course 8 1 is, is it's an free. It's an easy free up. Right. Yeah. So. Very good. The Dell Inspiron all-in-one 23-incher.